say you have a couple friends coming over to see a movie, and you're trying to write a program that will pick a movie that everyone will like. You only like action movies, but you know friend one only watches movies that have romance in them, and friend two only watches movies that have either comedy or horror. Given these four Boolean variables that store whether a movie includes action, romance, horror, or comedy, all true if it does and false if it doesn't, what if statement can we write to choose a movie that everyone can enjoy? We have to focus on writing a test condition that involves all three of our preferences. Our first preference is action, our second, romance, and our third preference is either comedy or horror. And we can combine all our preferences in one test condition by using logical operators. By separating all three of our preferences with AND operators, that means that all of them must be true in order for the whole test condition to be true. For our third preference, our friend wanted either comedy or horror, so as long as one of these is true, this whole combination will also be true. But imagine adding another friend to this list with complicated preferences. These logical tests can get really long, and with lots of parentheses, so they can be hard to understand. And sometimes programmers choose to use nested if statements instead. Nested if statements are just an if statement within an if statement, and they let you combine multiple test conditions similar to how an AND operator does. So our long if statement can be written instead as an if within another if. Our outer if has its curly braces surrounding our inner if, and our nested if only contains this block of code inside its curly braces. And this code performs the same checks as before. Our outer if checks if a movie includes action and romance, and our inner if checks our third preference, whether there's comedy or horror. And the nested if has given us the ability to break up a long test condition. It also lets us add code that executes inside each if statement separately. With these values, we'll then look at our decision-making code line by line. We know action and romance are both true, so when they're combined with an AND operator, this whole expression will also be true. So we'll enter the code in our outer if statement and print out, this movie includes action and romance. The next line we get to is our nested if statement, which checks if comedy or horror is true. And since both of these are false, this expression will also be false. And so we'll skip over the code in our inner if. And all that we'll print out is this movie includes action and romance. Now let's change our comedy variable so that it's true. This time, we'll still enter our first outer if and print out this movie includes action and romance. Then our inner if checks if either comedy or horror is true. This time, comedy is true, so we'll enter our inner if and also print out this also includes comedy or horror. And our print output will be those two lines of text. So whether you're checking a complicated test condition or just want to separate code, nested ifs can be a really useful tool.